Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review. And I'm here today to talk to you about why aren't the Titans trying to stop Red Hood slash Jason Todd? Um, only Dick is Nightwing. And that don't make no sense. So, yeah, I've been wondering for a while now. We're in four episodes. And we know based off the second episode that Jason Todd is red hood and he's going around murdering people and not only is he going around murdering people but he actually killed hawk hank and it's kind of like why aren't the titans this supposed superhero group why aren't they trying to stop him we know they're a group again from the first episode when we saw them team up and fight people so why aren't they going after their own former teammate and trying to stop him. I mean, are they okay with him murdering people? Apparently Nightwing's not, and Nightwing's pretty screwed up in the head. And so it's just kind of like, I don't get it. Like, how are these people superheroes and they're not trying to save nobody? And not even trying to stop a villain. Like they're literally doing everything else in their, like in their everyday lives and not trying to stop this dude. And episode four is the one that just pissed me off the most because in my last review I just said nobody cares. Nobody cares that Hawk is dead except for like two people and stuff. So, and it's just like, I don't get that. If this is supposed to be a superhero group and we saw them do superhero stuff before, then why in the world aren't they trying to stop the Red Hood? They're not even trying to figure out his motive, except for Nightwing. Nightwing is literally the only person who is trying to stop this dude. And it's because it's more personal for him because that's a former him. That's a former Robin, you know what I'm saying? He's formerly trained by Bruce. He's a former member of the Bat family. And the other ones just seem to be like, you know, whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, do they not care about Hank? Apparently not. Only two people care about him. It's like, you know, Dove, she cares about him, obviously, because that's his lover. And Superboy, who barely knows the dude, he cares about him. That's all, He only cares because he failed to save him. So I don't get it. So it's like Superboy only cares because, yeah, he failed to save him. Dove, of course, she cares because that's her ex and everything who she loves to death. Nightwing cares only a little because that's his former friend, but he's more concerned about J stopping Jason, which makes sense. He needs to stop Jason, but why is he the only one? Beast Boy, he's just making pizza and making jokes and flipping people off. And as for Starfire slash Corey, well, she, she's freaking out because like she's being... Like she's, she's going to sleep and she's waking up and find out she's trying to kill people cause she's been brainwashed somehow. And so that's the whole story arc for her. And now there's a whole thing with her sister Blackfire and stuff. And she don't care that Hank is dead. She doesn't care that Jason's going around murdering folks. And it's just like, dude, what up? So I, I, I don't understand the thought process in this writing. You know, and it's just like Jeff Jones and Greg Bertinelli and some other people, they're the showrunners. And it's just like, what are they doing, man? What are they literally doing? And it's like, I, I hate to complain because I want to like this show so freaking bad. Like when I was in college, man, I used to watch the Teen Titans cartoon show. And I became an instant fan. I didn't even know who most of them people were. And I instantly became a fan. And it's just like, I, I don't want to see them go down this route in live action, you know? It's like, HBO Max, what are you doing? What are the writers doing? Nobody is literally trying to stop this dude. I mean, in last season, when Slade started doing, and then Deathstroke started doing his bad stuff, yeah. Like, Dick was the main person who stopped him because it was more personal for him. And then the Titans, they had to go stop a brainwashed Beast Boy and Superboy. So at least they, they did something then. So they don't care about going against their own team members. But it's like, dude, why now? And nobody likes Jason. That's the thing. They all keep saying how, like, you know, they couldn't stand him, but he was part of the team and everything. And he was like, you know, like their friend. But they, but they, keep, they all keep saying how they can't stand him and how he gets on their nerves. 
And so it's just like, why aren't they trying to stop this dude? They're not even trying to figure out his motive as to why he's doing everything. It's like they literally don't care and they don't care. And it's just like, I don't get it. What kind of message is that? What kind of message are you sending to the audience and little kid? Well, kids are supposed to watch like a superhero, so they're supposed to be inspired. You know, they want to, they're supposed to learn good versus evil. Most of them become like military officers, cops, um, lawyers, judges. What are people going to want to be when they watch this show? Murderers? <laughs> like, seriously, man, I, I don't get it. I simply don't get it. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.